Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Grounded Armor and Weapons Guide has been updated. This is the edition 3. After completing two permadeath challenges on world difficulty, I was able to test a bunch of things and now I'm bringing everything to you guys. This video will go through the changes made to the cheat sheet that you are seeing. This is a game changer. In the next following days, the addition 3 cheat sheets will be on my Discord server and you can download them for free. The link to join the Discord server is in the description of this video. As developers change the game, this guide will be updated. Your support keeps me going. If you like this guide, don't leave without subscribing to the channel. If you love this guide, with less than 2 bucks, you can become a member of the channel and have access to the cheat sheets 48 hours earlier. A quick reminder before you start, this is the backyard from above. The gear progression is divided into four stages. Stage 1, Hatch, Pond and Radiant Hill. Stage 2, Haze and West Lower Yard. Stage 3, West Upper Yard plus the Brood Mother. Stage 4, East Upper Yard plus the Mantis. I do recommend you first watch the edition 2 of this guide, you may feel a bit lost if you don't. In stage 1, my recommendation is still the same with two exceptions. <laughs> Use Pebbled Spear to kill and bait stink bugs to fight red ants. Throwing Pebbled Spears is a great way to do damage and control stink bugs and bombardier beetles. Right after grabbing the Pinch Whacker, go for the Torse Pendant and the Power Droplet. It does look like a crazy thing to do, but trust me, it will help you a lot. If you don't know how to do that, I added links to the video description with guides that will walk you through the entire way. Talking about crazy, if this video gets 2000 likes in its first month, I will live stream here on YouTube a full run of the entire gear progression guide, from day 1 to final recommendation. Same thing I did on edition 2. Stop what you're doing and like this video. Make me suffer, please. Stage 2. Here comes the biggest change in the gear progression guide. I recommend using your fists against every tanky creature. This is me fighting the assistant manager in wall difficulty. Damage is crazy, dude. Damage is crazy. 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 Dead in less than 40 seconds. All other recommendations for stage 2 stay the same. Stage 3. Still not convinced about the fist build? Check how fast I killed the Broodmother. Bye bye, Tech Sword. Another big change done to the guide was the substitution of the insect bow for the spicy staff. In all difficulty, you are able to easily kill scarabs with the spicy staff level 5 fully charged. The area damage of the staff makes it so easy. Not just that, the spicy staff will make killing spiders safe again. You can charge and kill them from far away. And as you can see, the marksman's cap gives place to the sleek wizard hat to increase the spicy staff damage. The stage 4 is the final recommendation in how you should end the game. The big highlight here goes for the combat builds against the toughest creatures in the backyard. 
For the Black Widows and Director's Mecture, we changed the Poison build to the bulky or sleek Roly Poly armor set, plus fists. Oh my god! Oh my god! For the Mantis, we keep the Poison build plus fists. If you feel you need more protection, go with the Roly Poly armor set. This guide will always be updated when relevant changes are made to the game. The cheat sheets that follow this video guide will soon be uploaded to my Discord server. You can download them for free, the link for the Spy Discord is below in the video description. Members of the channel will have the cheat sheet 48 hours earlier. You can become a member for less than 2 bucks. And if you wanna always play grounded with a well thought and updated armor and weapon setup, subscribe to the channel. Die! 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 <laughs> it's okay, I'll let you spy on me.